Hello, this is Scott with Wisconsin River Outings. Uh, we frequently have people ask or go on guided trips with me and that kind of thing and have trouble building fires. So I figured I'd take a few minutes here and give you some quick pointers on how to build a fire while you're out on the river. For those of you who have no trouble getting a, a campfire going, this will seem like, oh, no kidding. But, you know, we get, this is one of those skills that a lot of people aren't learning anymore. It isn't like we heat our homes with wood and that kind of thing. So we think it's just simply throwing some wood down and throwing a match on it and away it goes. So I'm going to go through and give you some quick pointers on how to uh, create and maintain a nice campfire. So the first thing is some nice dry small kindling. And basically, as you look at this branch, uh, it starts out, I'll venture to say, almost needle thin gets thicker and works its way up and then even here it continues to work its way up and that's how you want to build your fire you probably want about two-thirds of the base of your fire to start off with little stuff like this and that and then <clears throat> work your way up to these bigger sections on the outside of that fire so i'm gonna go ahead and break some of this down and then start setting it up for you so while I'm uh, recording this real quick, I wanted to show you something that's that's not a good way to handle things. Folks probably use this as a place to go to the washroom on the river. And rather than one, packing all of this out, or two, burying it, they just left it sit like this. So we're going to end up collecting all this and burn it tonight. But in it, while you're on the river, it's always a good idea to actually bury or the best bet is to pack out the stuff you use while you're out on the on, out on the river and not leave it behind like that thanks so now that I've sterilized my hands after moving that mountain of uh, toilet paper and whatever else those were wipes um, I'm going to turn all of these branches into a teepee so next time you come back we'll have that all set up all right so like most things in life, the amount of time and effort you put into prepping for it, uh, the better it's likely to turn out. So there's my little teepee, all the little sticks in there. I've got my bigger stuff ready to roll on there as soon as uh, that takes off and gets hot. And uh, we're going to wait for the sun to go down a little further. And then we'll light this thing. And I swear on a scout's honor, although I was never a scout, that uh, I have not put any sort of magic juice on there or anything like that. We'll be starting it straight off of that old toilet paper. So, whoa, hopefully that didn't give you a whiplash. Uh, there you go, we'll light that probably in about another hour. So here we go, the moment of truth. Uh, the only thing I'm using is a lighter. I'm not gonna rub two sticks together or anything like that. All that crackling you hear is the little uh, the little twigs, and there it goes. So there you have it. The wind is blowing away from the camera right now, so I kind of built up the other side of the fire a little more, but there you have it. We have fire. Enjoy your stay out on the Wisconsin River. Uh, there's nothing like an evening around the fire, and I gotta start putting some bigger stuff on, because this thing's taking off. Thanks.